How's it going ladies and gentlemen, it is Eclipse here and again we have a weak spot sky, this time it is tier 9 tank destroyers and we're going to start with the T-30 now, this is one of two uh, American tank destroyers that are in the World of Tanks console, uh, it has a pretty decent gun to be fair to it, 276mm of pen I believe, yes, and 750 alpha damage, we're going to go straight onto the model viewer as you can see right here, this is what the T30 looks like, um, if we go into the visual model as you can see, um, we're going to try and cut to all of the bullshit out like what I'm doing right now, um, sadly the visual model isn't actually turning up, so that's what it looks like as you can see the big 155mm uh, main armament there, uh, and then we're going to go on to the uh, collision, where is it, here it is, um, as you can see there is 100mm of frontal hull armor uh, which is angled slightly so it increases it, now the main weak spots of this tank are this massive lower plate, uh, even the top of it is pretty weak at tier 9, everything can most likely go through it, uh, there's if you can't go for it, however, you can aim for this machine gun port type thing area here, uh, which is very weak and uh, not angled whatsoever, really. Um, and also, the lower plate is slightly weaker than the upper plate. Don't aim for the turret because it is uh, pretty retarded unless uh, you can hit this kind of uh, bit on the top of the T30, this cupola here. Um, and if you've got, I believe, 120mm plus, you can overmatch, uh, like this area here on top of the tank, um, since it's only 38mm of thickness right there, and it's slightly bobbled to one side, if you can see, it's not necessarily center, central, this little, like, hump here, so if you aim to the left or slightly, you'll be able to hit that and overmatch, hopefully. Obviously the side of the tank is pretty garbage to be fair, don't aim for the tracks again, I never aim for the tracks, make sure you're aiming. If you have got the side, try and aim near the back because that is where the fuel tanks are and you're more likely to set them on fire. side of the turret is still pretty strong and it could cause some bounces every now and again which you might not want to happen so make sure you're shooting the side of it and if you can only shoot the side of the turret make sure that you have got well within 130 millimeters of pen as well before you shoot uh rear of the tank is garbage literally 50 millimeters at the back uh don't shoot at this lower bit because it is uh angled and so it increases the effective armor so only shoot this bit here and if you are level with it uh, a lot of the time with the British tanks you can actually hit this bit here if it's angled so you can actually aim uh, at this engine deck at the back and you can pen it quite reliably since it's kind of sloped like that rounded uh, you can actually go through that quite a lot and it's quite weak as you can see 38 millimeters so you can the amount of times I've penned uh, super Pershings who have slightly angled you can actually pen this like engine deck since uh, of this sloping and that is the T30 now the weak spots just uh, quickly again, this bit here, anywhere on the hull if you've got pretty decent pen uh, and the cupola there, side of the uh, turret and uh, the rear of the tank and the rear of the turret also the side armour if you see it now on to the really well armoured American tank destroyer, the T95, the uh, Doom Turtle as it's, uh, as it's known now this thing has really good DPM but then it has very very bad manoeuvrability um, it's armor is really good frontally as you can see like 350 millimeters pretty much everywhere on the front of it but it does have these big cupolas here which are weak spots um, straight away I'll tell you that um, well weak spots less strong armor basically 220 millimeters of effective armor on these cupolas um, as you can see 219 in some places but you want to aim for these if you can't see anything otherwise uh, there's this tiny lower plate which I would only ever shoot it if you're aiming up into it and even then it's uh, kind of 50-50 whether you're going to be able to pen uh, if it's angling towards you um, you're going to find it quite hard to actually pen it if, if it is you might be able to kind of hit this, but even still, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, and if it is angling towards you, I always try and aim for this bit here. 
there's like a bulge where the cupola is sat on top of that comes out and so if it's angling towards you try and aim for this bit right here um, now I know a lot of people don't actually realize this uh, because on this side you obviously don't get it um, so a good T95 uh, like player will always angle their tank like this uh, when you're coming up against them because uh, it hides this other cupola at the back some more slightly as you can see you can't really see it only see this one here and kind of increases the armor effective on that and also increases the angle at the front of the tank whereas if they're angling on this side you can hit this really weak uh, kind of sh foundations of the cupola there um, and pen quite easily and obviously if you get around the side of it it's really well angled really when you look at it so it's kind of hit or miss whether you're going to be able to pen especially if you're in a light tank say the bulldog or whatever you're gonna to struggle to actually be able to hit that especially if you manage to accidentally hit this bit from auto aiming or such so i would definitely recommend trying to aim for the inner drive wheel um uh, like here or here um, or the real drive wheel and uh, try and detrack it and then get round behind which has only 50 millimeters of armor and therefore he rounds uh, from a decent caliber gun will go straight through that um, side has got loads of spaced armor so don't try and fire heat at the sides unless you're going to hit this top bit here uh, or the cupolas i would recommend so those are the weak spots of the t95 these cupolas if it's angled like that then hit this bit here uh, don't hit anywhere on here if it's angling towards you and never really going to pen unless you can hit this tiny little gap between like the gun mantler but even still it's not really worth it i don't think you'll be able to actually hit it in there um and that is the T95 now. I believe we are on to the British Tier 9 heavies. Uh, nope. What am I on about? The Tank Destroyer. And uh, this is the Tortoise. Now, the Tortoise is... Uh, well, it's got the best DPM in the game. But it also... It's got armour. But it's not necessarily armour that you can rely on at all. Uh, you've got bits that are quite well angled. Um but then as you can see straight away is this huge cupola on top right there uh, which can pen so easily 176 millimeters well 170 millimeters of armor really um that you'll be able to go straight through uh, with most tanks of tier 9 or even tier 8 and quite a few tier 7s will be able to pen that especially if you're playing something like a tiger you can easily pen that but you don't want to be sat in front of it shooting at this whilst it's shooting at you because its gun is so much better than yours uh, the worst thing i've ever seen was a tortoise versus a tortoise and uh yeah it just was horrible they both lost pretty much all the health and then uh, one of them uh literally just won by firing first that was it um if you're aiming like well if you're going against it uh, there are some flat bits of the armor as you can see this uh, right hand side it's a lot flatter than the left hand side as you can see so if you've got decent pen and you've got 220 millimeters uh, plus of pen then aim for this flat bit here otherwise you can actually pen this kind of the front of this it's quite flat if you can get it like straight on try and aim for that then you'll be able to pen obviously this cupola here i would always recommend aiming at this uh, unless they're unless they're a really good tortoise driver and they're kind of hiding it behind a building uh, so you can only see this part of the tank and if you can only see that then definitely aim for this bit here uh, since that is quite flat uh, side of the tank just aim anywhere side of the cupola is even worse so anywhere really on the side and uh, or anywhere on the rear i wouldn't go for he rounds around the back of this because it's still 100 millimeters of armor so uh, don't go firing he rounds um and other than that it's quite a uh, walking weak spot really uh, or rolling weak spot whatever you'd rather to call it but uh, artillery will be able to uh basically flip this tank so badly <laughs> it's gonna basically just go around anywhere on the top of this tank and since it's not necessarily the fastest uh tank in the game then it's gonna get hit every now and again and you are gonna be feeling it uh 100 now uh that is the weak spots on the tortoise onto the conway i believe yep the conway now 
not like you need to know the weak spots on this considering if you've ever played in the game and you've had a look at his turret and you're like oh well that looks good this massive turret on it 130 millimeters of armor uh, you can go through that with pretty much anything only bit about the Conway is this lower bit of the gun mantlet as you can see there's like this area here where it changes from 154 millimeters to upwards of 300 so um, if you can only shoot the gun mantlet aim for the top a bit uh, top bit of it and uh, try and aim for the side of the gun mantlet and if you get the hull just anywhere on the hull um, and then side just anywhere on the side not like I really need to go over the weak spots of the Conway but um, make sure you're dealing damage don't the place basically where you aren't gonna pen is the lower half of the gun mantlet so just don't fire there anywhere else doesn't matter where it is it's only got 76 millimeters of armor at best um, uh, and 132 on the turret so try and aim for the hole if you can but it is angled slightly so you're gonna need just over 76 millimeters of pen um, to be able to take out this tank effectively now that is a conway don't need to go into too much detail on that one not really any weak spots that you need to be aiming for um, similarly to the waffle panzer 4 just make sure you're not firing um, into supremely angled areas like that where it's just going to be an auto bounce like that's the only way you're not going to pen this tank look at it 20 millimeters everywhere he rounds take this the waffle e100 um pretty much any any kind of paper tank just make sure you're firing he do not fire into the gun where the it's just going to absorb the he rounds so just fire into anywhere here make sure that you pen and uh, that's about all we can say about the waffle panzer 4 yeah just literally he rounds uh, now we are on to the Yag Tiger. Now this is the more strong, uh, strong armored tank out of the two. As you can see, well, anything is more arm strongly armored than the uh, Waffle Panzer IV. As you can see, uh, it's got 200 millimeters on the superstructure and uh, 176. Uh, well, 150 millimeters of actual armor, but um, it is uh, kind of angled in places. And the further up you get, the stronger the armor gets. And also, uh, sorry about this. Oh my god, mm, just woken up. Well, not necessarily, but anyway, I'm cracking on. 100 millimeters of armor on the lower plate, 150 millimeters on the upper plate, and 250 millimeters on the superstructure. So if you can only see the superstructure, aim for the cheeks right here. 250 millimeters of pen you'll need. So premium rounds, as usual, with most. Uh, most tank destroyers when you're coming up against them you don't want to be taking risks you don't want to pull out um they shoot you for quite a large amount of damage and you put one back but it bounces so um i would dec definitely recommend premium rounds if you can only see the superstructure and you have less than 250 millimeters of pen um otherwise i would aim definitely at the hull armor or if it's coming over like a ridge using its gun depression you can shoot this really weak lower plate um 140 millimeters of armor as you can see there it's pretty well angled so you, the only real area where it's going to be 100 millimeters is when you're right underneath it and that's not going to happen very often so it will be more like that so 130 millimeters so the uh kind of hole is 80 millimeters um and the rear of the hull and superstructure is 80 millimeters so just fire away <laughs> basically try and track it if you can it can it can angle like this so um it's going to make it slightly harder don't aim for the cheeks then because you're going to very unlikely going to be able to pen so just try and aim for the lower plate or um and don't aim for the side either so make sure you're aiming for the lower plate that's the only really weak spot you can use on the Jag Tiger when it's doing that and that's it for the German tank destroyers now we're straight on to the uh, Foch now this is the uh, tier 9 French tank destroyer it's got a uh, 750 oh no 400 alpha damage even sorry the 750 is actually on the uh, 155 uh, the tier 10 
Now the main weak spots as of with the Fosh 155 is this area right here on the cupola. Like it's quite flat, and uh, you should be able to pen if you don't hit places where it's all going to auto ricochet. So just using your um, gun to try and hit this bit here. Don't shoot these bits at the side of it where there's like these viewports because they aren't. They don't don't actually count that. Are, what the fuck am I going on about? They don't actually class as hitboxes uh, on the side, so make sure you're hitting this bit here. Uh, the cupola is pretty strong on this tank, so I wouldn't recommend really going for it. Um, the lower plate you can hit, but it's quite small, so um, I would def definitely recommend shooting this because if you can see the lower plate, then you're definitely going to be able to see this bit. Um, and also if you have nothing else to shoot then the cupola is possible to pen just make sure you're trying to hit this uh, bit kind of there like just where it joins uh, the bottom half of it to the top half because as you get further up it gets better and better angled as you can see and therefore you're going to bounce so try and hit there and that will be 189 millimeters and uh, upwards to 200 etc now that is the Fosh uh, side of the turret well side of the hull even and superstructure is 40 millimeters so just anywhere on the side and anywhere on the rear he rounds will go nicely through the Fosh's uh, rear and side armor that's the only tier 9 tank destroyer in the french line so we're on to the russians now you've got the choice of the object 704 or the su 122 54 now the object 704 has the most troll armor in the game literally i'm sorry to say but if if you see that there's 170 millimeters of armor and you just yeah i'm just gonna hit there no you're gonna bounce just sorry but even if you have 200 mil 250 millimeters of pen and you fire here you're gonna bounce because uh wargaming love to give some russian bias um i mean as you can see my viewpoint on it isn't biased whatsoever uh, I've never never bounced off of the object 704 because it doesn't actually have armor uh, No, literally this is a broken tank like you can shoot anywhere on on these flat bits uh, With upwards of 170 millimeter pen, but as you can see the chance is like 50 50 So you want to be able to just pen reliably because it's going to be doing 750 alpha damage to you So don't want to be taking them shots too often uh, so make sure you're just firing straight into the armor there um, these flat bits if it's angling away from you can hit this area here and don't hit the Russian side armor because oh god no too many experiences with Russian side armor uh, just shoot this bit here um, you can also shoot like the top of the gun mantlet here actually um, if it's angling like this wouldn't recommend it it's quite a tough shot to make and if you miss it's going to go into areas where it's quite troll so uh, try and hit this bit here if you get around to the side it's quite well arm armored and angled here so just don't hit the russian side armor yeah again just don't hit it try and track it like that and that will stop it from traversing any more and then just keep on tracking it and also you can shoot this bit if you can't see the tracks or anything uh behind of it you can't even fire he rounds reliably so i would definitely recommend just shooting it anyway um and not taking any chances now that's the object 704 they're all the weak spots the lower plate uh the flat like side armor when it's angling towards you etc and onto the su 122 54 now this isn't a tank you necessarily see very often it's got really high dpm but i don't see many people playing it i don't know why i think it it's kind of I like the look of it. I think it looks really nice um, in game. I like the look of the gun. I, I this is something I'm definitely going to work my way towards. I think that's what I'm going to do next after I get the Centurion Action 10, and then uh, work my way towards the uh, kind of Object 263. But I probably won't even get that. I'll probably only get this tank because this is something I really wanted for a long time. And I might, if I enjoy this, I might pick up the SU-12244, which is the Tier 7 Premium. Now, let's get on to the weak spot. So, as you can see, frontally, it is this cupola here, 100 millimeters, And uh, you get this little area here, 100 millimeters as well. But that's quite a slim chance to actually hit that. Uh, now the armor here is like 140 millimeters, so I would definitely recommend shooting anywhere 
especially this lower plate is slightly bigger than on the um, like on the object 704 you can hit this a lot more reliably and uh, definitely hit anywhere here even the gun mantler isn't that strong on the tank like 250 millimeters a lot of tank destroyers uh, of similar will be able to actually go through that don't aim for it because you think oh I've got pen anyway just make sure you're aiming for this and if it does sometimes like veer off into the gun mantler it might still pen anyway so don't aim for the gun mantler but definitely aim for it anywhere else as with the 704 if it's angling towards you you can hit this area massive uh, it doesn't have any like space armor on the side the Russian space armor but it uh, will definitely not bounce if you can hit this angle here uh, as you can see, it's angled like that, so don't go hitting that when you uh, see it frontally on. But if it angles to get away, then you can shoot this bit. Obviously, similar with the side armor, anywhere on it, uh, try and track it and deal damage as well. This is what I mean. A lot of the time, you need to be aiming for these rear and uh, frontal kind of drive wheels to take them out and uh, stop them from being able to move. And then you've kind of not only have you done damage yourself which you would have done anyway but then you're also tracking them and keeping them in place for your team to actually do damage which increases your assisted damage and therefore will cause your marks to go up as well more than what you would have done if you just let it roll backwards uh into cover and maybe only got one shot more anyway so if you track it you'll be doing more damage overall uh if you get round behind he rounds uh, very low armor really at the back of it that you can pen with and that is the su 122 54 i will definitely be picking this up uh it just looks like a really beast with the gun anyway um and that is it so now we are on to uh i believe that is actually it in terms of tank destroyers um other than the swedish tanks which won't be coming to console in a very long time um therefore might go on to it anyway yeah i think we will do the uh oh god i've gone to the wrong one the uh <laughs> strv 103 um uh, this tank has no armor so it doesn't matter just fire anywhere literally uh try not to hit these areas here which um are just spaced armor basically so just try and aim anywhere here the hull armor if it's angling up because of the uh kind of siege mode then aim just on the lower plate and if it's angling down on the siege mode aim anywhere here because it's really weak he rounds will go through although um on the tier 10 there is spaced armor that kind of like acts as a shield type thing on the top so if you get around the side try not to shoot at the spaced armor with your he try and just fire normal ammo i would recommend actually at the side and then if you get to the rear he again and that's the weak spot so the only quick kind of overview of the swedish tanks it'll probably change by the time it comes to console because these tanks are really underpowered at the moment so uh do not uh, fear at all when it comes to those tanks in terms of armor so that is what uh, i kind of can go over today those are the tier 9 tank destroyer weak spots that i can kind of memorize if you find any more then definitely comment below in the youtube video and also on the forums where i kind of post some of the videos that i do um i hope you guys did enjoy if you did please hit that like button subscribe for more content like this and also kind of comment down below what you think of the series and also what you think i can do better maybe taking out some of the tanks to show you the ones that i've got at least or just showing you some kind of gameplay where i take out a couple of these things using the weak spots that i've shown in the video maybe that's what you want me to do if you do then definitely uh, comment below and uh, i will see you guys in the next video